Hi kids! Today we will learn about verbs for singular and plural. We know verbs are action words. For example, my dog runs, jumps, and wags his tail. Here, runs, jumps, and wags are the action words or verbs. My friend Emma dances very well. Here, the word dances tells about what Emma does. So here, the word dances is an action word or a verb. I am going to school by bus. Here, the word going tells what I am doing. So, the word going is an action word or a verb. So kids, verbs are the action words in the sentence. Here are some sentences. Let's read them and circle the verbs in them. I drink a glass of milk twice a day. Drink is the action word or verb here. I play the piano every day. Play is the action word or verb here. I like to eat ice cream. Now, in this sentence, there are two action verbs, and they are like and eat. I eat ice cream every day. Eat is the action word or verb here. I write poetry every day. Write is the action word or the verb here. I love to dance. Dance is the action word or verb here. She is singing a beautiful song. Singing is the action word or verb here. They are playing with a disc. Playing is the action word or verb here. Drink, play, like, eat, write, dance, singing, dancing, all are action words or verbs. A sentence can have one or more than one verbs in it. We should wash our hands before eating. There are two verbs in this sentence. Wash and eating. I like to dance and sing. There are three verbs in this sentence. Like, dance, and sing. So you can one or more than one verbs in a sentence. So you can have one or more than one verbs in a sentence. Now, here we have some more sentences. Circle the verbs and observe them. He dances very well. She dances very well. They dance very well. I dance very well. You dance very well. So kids, what do you observe here? The verb in these sentences is either dance or dances. So we have two forms of the same verb here, dance or dances. Let's learn the reason behind it. Verbs that come after I, you, we, they, and plural nouns do not end with S or ES. When a verb comes after a singular noun, it ends with S or ES. Let's learn with examples. Here we have a verb live. It has two forms, live and lives. We will use lives with singular naming words or singular nouns. For example, he lives in a small town. She lives in a small town. 
Joy lives in a very beautiful city. Now, let's see where will we use live. I live in a small town. You live in a small town. They live in a small town. Joy and Olivia live in a small town. So, where do we use live? It comes after when we talk about plural naming words or when our sentences have I, you, we, and they. Where do we use lives? It comes after singular naming words and with he, she, and it. Let's see some more examples. The verb sing has two forms, sing and sings. Where do we use sings? She sings very well. My brother sings very well. Olivia sings very well. Now let's learn about the usage of sing. They all sing very well. We love to sing in concerts. They sing very well. Both my brother and sister sing very well. Here we have another verb, like. We have two forms of like, like and likes. They like to eat ice cream. We like to eat ice cream. I and my friend like to study together. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? So, we use like when we talk about plural naming words or when our sentences have I, you, we, and they. Now let's see the usage of likes. He likes to eat ice cream. She likes to read short story books. John likes to write long stories. So we use likes with singular naming words and with he, she, and it. Here we have a sentence, you, dash, very neatly. And we need to fill it with the right form of verb, write or writes. Kids, we have to place a verb after the pronoun you. According to the rule, the verb after the pronoun you do not end in s or es. So we will use write in this blank. You write very neatly. So we have another blank and we have to fill the right form of verb in the blank. Study or studies. Kids, we have to place a verb after a plural pronoun, they. So the verb will not end in s or es. So we will put study in the blank. They study together. Let's see one last example. My teacher, dash, very politely. We have to one out of the two words, speak or speaks. We have to place the verb after a singular pronoun, my teacher. So the verb will end in s or es. So we will choose speaks. My teacher speaks very politely. So kids, we have learned the usage of singular and plural verbs with the help of many examples. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.